In the labyrinthine corridors of memory, there exists a shadowy figure, elusive and enigmatic, whose presence haunts the recesses of my mind. Her name was Lyhea, and though the sands of time have obscured the details of our first encounter, her essence lingers still, like a whispered secret echoing through the annals of my past. It was in a bygone era, in a sprawling city nestled along the banks of the Rhine River, that our paths first intertwined. The air was heavy with the scent of history, and amidst the cobblestone streets and towering cathedrals, Lyhaet emerged like a specter from the mists of antiquity. Tall and slender, with an air of quiet dignity that belied her youth, she moved through the bustling crowds with an ethereal grace that drew the eye and captured the imagination. From the moment our eyes met, there was an unspoken connection between us, a bond forged in the fires of destiny. She spoke of an ancient lineage, tracing her ancestry back through the annals of time to a noble family steeped in tradition and legend. Yet, for all her regal bearing, Lyhea remained an enigma, her true identity shrouded in mystery. In those early days, we shared long hours wandering the labyrinthine streets of the old city, lost in conversation and the heady thrill of discovery. Lyhea was a scholar of unparalleled intellect, her mind a repository of knowledge spanning the breadth of human history. Together, we delved into the secrets of the past, unraveling the mysteries of forgotten civilizations and exploring the hidden depths of the human psyche. But it was not merely academic pursuits that bound us together, it was something deeper, something more profound. Lyhea was my confidant, my companion, my muse, a guiding light in the darkness of uncertainty. In her presence, I felt a sense of belonging, as if I had finally found my place in the world. As our friendship blossomed into something more, I found myself falling irrevocably in love with this mysterious woman who had captured my heart. Yet, for all my adoration, there was a shadow that hung over our relationship, the shadow of Legia's uncertain origins and the secrets she held close to her chest. For years, I searched in vain for clues to her true identity, scouring ancient tomes and dusty archives in pursuit of elusive answers. But Lyhea remained steadfast in her silence, her past a closely guarded secret that she shared with no one. Despite the mysteries that surrounded her, Legia's presence in my life brought me a sense of joy and fulfillment that I had never known before. We embarked on adventures together exploring the far reaches of the world and immersing ourselves in the beauty of distant lands. Yet, even in the midst of our travels, there was a sense of melancholy that lingered in the air, a reminder of the fragility of our moral existence and the fleeting nature of happiness. As the years passed, Legia's once vibrant spirit began to wane, her health faltering under the weight of time and circumstance. I watched helplessly as the light dimmed in her eyes, as the vitality drained from her once radiant form. And yet, even in the face of adversity, she remained resolute, her determination to live burning bright against the encroaching darkness. In her final days, as she lay upon her deathbed, I held her frail form in my arms, the weight of impending loss heavy upon my heart. She spoke of her love for me, of the life we had shared together, and of the dreams that would never come to pass. 
and though tears stained my cheeks, I could not bring myself to say goodbye to the woman who had become my world. When Lyheya passed from this world into the next, a part of me died with her, a part that could never be reclaimed or replaced. I wandered the world in a daze, adrift in a sea of grief and despair, searching for solace in the arms of strangers and the depths of oblivion. But no matter how far I roamed or how deeply I delved into the abyss, I could not escape the memory of Lyheya. Her presence lingered in every shadow, her voice echoed in every whisper of the wind. And so, in a desperate bid to outrun my demons, I sought refuge in the solitude of an ancient abbey, its crumbling walls a testament to the passage of time and the fragility of existence. Within the hallowed halls of the abbey, I sought to bury my pain beneath layers of silence and solitude, yet even within its sacred confines, I could not escape the specter of Legia's memory. Her face haunted my dreams, her voice echoed in the stillness of the night, and her essence permeated every corner of my lonely existence. It was amidst the oppressive silence of the abbey that fate saw fit to intervene, in the form of a woman whose golden locks and azure eyes bore a striking resemblance to my beloved Lyheya. Lady Rowena, as she was called, entered my life like a breath of fresh air, her presence a balm to my wounded soul. Yet, even as I welcomed her into my world, I could not shake the feeling of unease that gnawed at the edges of my consciousness. For though Rowena was a vision of beauty and grace, there was something about her that stirred a sense of disquiet within me, a sense that all was not as it seemed. As Rowena's health began to deteriorate, I watched with growing alarm as she succumbed to a mysterious illness that defied all attempts at diagnosis or treatment. Her once vibrant spirit waned, her once luminous eyes dimmed, and I felt a sense of deja vu wash over me, as if history were repeating itself in cruel mockery of my suffering. And then, on the night of her passing, as I sat vigil by her bedside, I witnessed a miracle, or perhaps a curse, that would forever alter the course of my destiny. For as Rowena drew her final breath, her body stirred with a strange energy, her once lifeless form pulsing with renewed vigor. In that moment, I knew with a certainty that defied reason, Lyheya had returned to me, her spirit reincarnated in the vessel of another. And though the rational part of my mind recoiled at the thought, my heart rejoiced at the prospect of being reunited with the woman I had loved and lost. But as I gazed into Rowena's eyes, I saw not the familiar gaze of my beloved Lyheya, but the haunting visage of a stranger, a creature of darkness and mystery, whose true nature eluded my grasp. And in that moment of revelation, I understood the terrible truth that had been hidden from me all along. Lyheya was not a woman of flesh and blood, but a spirit, a specter from the realm of the dead, whose ethereal presence had transcended the boundaries of time and space to haunt me once more. And though her return filled me with a sense of longing and despair, I knew that I could never escape the pull of her enigmatic allure. In the end, I am left with only memories, memories of a love that transcended death itself, and a bond that could never be broken. For even as I stand on the precipice of eternity, I know that Lyheya will be there, waiting for me in the shadows, her dark eyes shimmering with the promise of eternal devotion.